Hello Raider Nation! This is Duntoff. Today as you can see I am at the Raiders Allegiance Stadium. It is Monday, July 11th, 2022. So it is currently almost 5.45 a.m. Getting an early start today because it is uh, supposed to be about 111 to 115 degrees. So I wanted to get out of here before it got too crazy hot. So I'm on my cell phone using my gimbal. Alright, so there's the, some of the strip right there. The sun is just starting to rise. So, not too hot yet. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk around the stadium. I haven't done that in a while. Or I haven't been out here in a while. I think it's been a couple months since I did a video out here. So we're going to walk around, see what's going on around the property. And then also, I think they started some construction on at least one of the things they're going to build around the stadium. So we'll go check that out and see if they started the second project. But as I was pulling up, I saw some guys inside the main north entrance here. I think they might be installing some of the bricks so we'll head over there but they actually have it all closed off you can see the fencing here so we're not even allowed in there right now during you know well it's not open so this is something new before you could just walk around everywhere I'm gonna just try to zoom in here. You can see they're working on something in there. Alright, so that's they're right by the main entrance, so I don't know if they're touching up you know some of the grout or because there's already bricks over there, but I will have to come back when we're allowed in there and see what's going on. Alright, so big news took place last week last Thursday was the announcement of the new Raiders president Sandra Douglas Morgan I had to think of her name for a minute oh looks like I could get in this way here uh, Sandra Douglas Morgan she's grew up in Vegas she's a lawyer she was on the gaming commission so she seems like she's going to be a good fit for the company. Just everything about her. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, yes. So as we get closer, they are putting some of the new legacy bricks. So if you reach recently purchased one, it will be available for you to check out. can't really see it through the fence like that so once I uh, once I could get in there I'll make another video I have one if you haven't seen it I have another video from the last two years where you'll be able to see and try to find your brick if you haven't made it out here yet All right, as I was walking up, I did see they have a giant E. The letter E on the big sign over here. They did post it on Twitter yesterday that they're gonna have a big announcement at 8 a.m. this morning. And then the big E, from what I was reading on the, 
online from the comments was that's for Elton John. So I guess this morning they're going to announce that Elton John's going to be coming here to perform a concert. So if you like Elton, I've never saw him at concert. Well, uh, he's going to be coming. All right, so looking through the fence, you can see these pallets here. Those are legacy bricks. That's how they come every year. You know, they'll be wrapped up in there, and then they they install them. So there's a lot of spots. They could do this for a lot more years. So if you happen to uh, come here, look for my Duntov brick. I do have one. Mine is closer to the... It's on, if you're facing the shield, it'll be on the right side of the shield about halfway up. All right, that was just showing the sports water right there. So I'm sure everyone has saw the regular uh, bottles, they're the plastic bottles. But in the stadium, you could buy the aluminum canned water bottle. I've never seen them for sale in any stores yet, so they have them in there with tax and all that. They're almost $10 but they're pretty cool silver and black uh, aluminum bottle all right we can see this genie lift in there I saw them last week I thought maybe they were doing something to the prison view media mesh screen here but it appears like they're using it to just clean and like this raised panel area I think they were pretty much just dusting the building as far as I can tell we get some Modelo I haven't heard about any uh, special cans yet the past two years you know they did release a can for the Raiders season so waiting to see if they're going to do that as well as Coors Light, they've done the same thing. And uh, last year they had Dr. Pepper. The year before they had Coke, Coke Zero and Dr. Pepper cans. Last year they just had a special Dr. Pepper can. All right, so the sun is just coming up and it's starting to hit the screen here, but you can see how good it still looks all right as we're walking our way right now I'm walking down D Martin I'm heading on the south side we're on the east side of the building but as we head down this weekend coming up on the 16th there is a soccer game I know it's like Chelsea against the Americas or something like that. I'm not a, a soccer follower. But that's more like an ex exhibition game. And then this, uh, I think the week after that, there's actually some, oh, there's a camp. If you have any young children that would like to sign up for the camp, that's what that was there. I think they're already doing it right now, but that'd be cool. Get to try it or like try out with the Raiderettes. Just win, baby. This is our year. We got no excuses this year. All right, but as I was saying, the soccer's coming. So the soccer. They should be playing on the real uh, grass, so we're going to head on over this way to the field area and see if they got that prepared yet. And then I'm going to work my way to Russell and Polaris. 
they're supposed to be starting a project for something close to the stadium and we'll see if they start building over there yet but anyone going to the hall of fame game that's coming up at the beginning of august so i am not going to be able to make it i was thinking about it but out here the kids start school too early and got to do the family stuff getting prepared for the school year all right the building's looking good looks like they got it all pretty cleaned up all right so right now let me come around so we're getting the reflection off of the building You can see the sun's coming up, but it's already about 90 degrees out here at 5.54 in the morning. So it's going to be a hot one. All right, we're by the southeast entry. So this is lot E, F, G, and H on this side. Remember, if you come out here for a game and you take the the bus, you can take buses for, I think it's 2 or $4 each way. I think $2 each way. Comes from different casino areas. You would pick, get picked up and dropped off over down that way there by lot H. So pretty easy to get here for cheap. If you don't have a parking spot, I know those are pretty much sold out, you know, but if you like the tailgate, that's where you'll, you know, this is where you want to be. The most popular tailgate area that I see when I'm here for games is Lot J. But, you know, all of them are good. Alright, we're coming up to the east side of the filtray area see from this side it's harder to see all right if we look at the building before we even see the grass area you can see it in the reflection there so you can see the green so the field is out. There we go down there. It's looking good. Nice and green. It's a little different. So if we look, I know it's hard to see through the fencing there, but you got the field tray here. Then if you look down more, you can see some some of the field down there, but that's you know got to be regular astroturf cuz that's different like that. All right, so the field's not painted up yet for the soccer tournaments. It's looking really good you could also see the removable bleachers they have to move those out every time the field tray goes in or out so they move out of the way so they could slide them you know under the stadium it's coming up quick so our first uh we got our first game coming at the middle of August, so probably in about a month. Our preseason game. Can't wait for that. I'm definitely going to the first one. 
the second one I don't know yet if I'm, I think the second one is on a is it on a Friday night so I have to see if I could get off work for that one but you know I'm gonna try as hard as I can all right so right now I'm gonna walk up here towards Russell so we got these different hotels here but straight ahead from me is the Holiday Inn Express and on that corner this is where they're supposed to be starting to build it's gonna actually be an in and out burger and from what they're saying it's gonna be they're gonna make it like a retro building to look like one of the original in and outs from the late 40s and it's gonna be uh, drive up and walk up only so I think what they're kind of you know basing it on is all right this is lot J here it gets packed with uh, tailgaters so maybe they're gonna try to get it so you know people walk up get food and go tailgate <coughs> oh, excuse me all right I can see some equipment in there so if you're coming for tailgating and you do not have a grill or didn't cook you could just walk right up here to get your in and out burger all right from here though I do not see any uh, structure going up yet so I don't know how long it's gonna take before it's done it might not even be done before the season's over All right, so that's on the corner of Polaris and Russell. That's gonna be a walk up and drive through in and out burger. And then I know a lot of people that stay at these hotels here. You got this Holiday Inn Express right here. And then there's a Stay Bridge Suites. And then back behind all that area, you can see these buses here. If you go down that road, there's, I think, three or four other type of hotels. You know, so you can just walk to your, you can walk to the games. All right, so In-N-Out Burger, that is one of the things getting built right here. And then I'm going to pan around we're gonna go down to Polaris uh, here so this is lot J this gets very busy when it does everybody always comes you know early when they open the lot and they always set up in these two rows here that's like the main drag of Lot J. All right, the sun is out right now. I can feel the heat coming. Oh, okay, let me go back here. We actually have a sign for In-N-Out Burger. see if it's if we could see what if it has a date yet no date just saying here soon and there you go in and out all right so now we're gonna walk down this side here this is Polaris we're gonna head north down the west side of the stadium one of the other projects so 
they're actually a little slower than I thought they'd be getting this stuff going especially with the Super Bowl gonna be here in a year and a half so remember the Super Bowl the 2024 Super Bowl is gonna be here it'll be the Raiders against we don't know yet but remember that was my prediction we are going to be in the Super Bowl when they are playing here. And maybe even this year coming up. We have no reason not to be able to. Alright, but back to what I was going to say. This is going to be like the stadium district all the way down this area. Where they're supposed to be putting like bars and restaurants and stuff like that. But here is the second project that is... You can, we can see it's slowly starting. If we look at this terrible Herps building, you can see they're starting to tear some stuff up. So right now, I think this used to be one of their uh, like warehouses for all their different gas stations they have. But if we look at the construction sign here, so it's the can't even read it good. Herps, Herps Polaris Parking Garage. So what I heard this is going to be, they're going to tear this building down and they're, they're going to build a 700 some spot parking garage as well as the bottom floor is going to be like a, I think they said some kind of supper club. So you're going to be able to come here for games and concerts and events. And you will be able to go to dinner at this restaurant, the Supper Club. And they will have parking. And then I think you could even have like events there where it will be like a you know little you know event space. So they're going to try to capitalize on events here so they could you know get people in there before the games so that's the next spot but then all the way down this street there's all these you know warehouses and stuff like that where we should be seeing those get torn down and converted to restaurants bars and I would even think some smaller hotels So we'll, uh, you know, keep showing that as stuff is getting built. But as we can see this place, I mean, the building is still there. You can see the landscaping. They are tearing it up on the outside. Because this used to be one of my hangouts when I was filming the construction. I would be standing up there by those little palm trees. They actually took out some of the bigger ones that I would try to use for shade. <clears throat> All right, so this lot S, that is one of the reserved tailgating lots for the stadium. Okay, we got the field area again. Yep, that grass is looking good. <clears throat> so again, I'm on my gimbal, so I don't have my big old tripod to lift up over this fencing. And that's what I would do a lot of times is I would hold it over the fencing so you could get a clean shot. All right, we're getting the reflection of the sun on the Mandalay Bay there. Sometimes if you're driving, that gets pretty bright between that building and next door to it, the Luxor. It gets pretty bright. All right. Let's... Uh, now we are on the southwest entry area. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. 
So this is the area, if you were watching my older videos, I would send the drone up. I would actually, where that car's turning in right there, that's usually where I would send it up at. And the drone could only go up about 60 feet because of the restricted area. But it would give enough view where we were able to see into the filtrate area when they were getting that all well when it was dug out and then when they started putting the filtrate together so if you haven't seen any of that go back in my old videos and you can see all the construction when they were putting the filtrate together all right so this building though now this is part of the raiders at least the one side is it actually says on the sign by the entrance over here by these cones teammate headquarters so this is where a lot of the on any game days or any event days I, this might be where the team comes and clocks in and does stuff like that and then you can see they got a las vegas aces truck if you didn't know, Mark Davis owns the WNBA Las Vegas Aces. So right now they play at the Mandalay Bay in the Michelob Ultra Arena. So that's where they're at. If you're in town, want to check out one of their games, head on over there. I personally have not been there yet to see one. So now they started the season really good and then I think they're kind of in a slump but I haven't seen this past week how they were how they're doing if they're getting back on track so all right let's go back down this west side here <clears throat> All right, so this west side, when we go this way here, this is the MGM VIP entrances down this way. So I've been in there a couple times. One one game where I got to sit in my sister and brother all seats. So this is where you would come for that. So this is MGM Resorts West. VIP entrance those are the good seats that's where you get the you know you get the hangout they got the champions club so the champions club is I'm pretty sure it's section C-134 is the section so you get access to that club where you get drinks and food everything included so that's where you would go in there you can see MGM Resorts West VFP entry if you saw a video I put I think it was a couple weeks ago they opened up the new Raider image so they have a lot of them around town now but that one was in downtown Summerlin and of course you got the biggest one is here in the stadium and that north entrance by where they're installing the new legacy bricks but they have the new items with the uh, double swords and i guess you can only get them right now in the raider image stores all right the sun's gonna be popping up any second here Oh yeah, very bright. So the, I did get a call from my Raiders rep for our season tickets. I got a call, I think it was two weeks ago. So they did say they're gonna be sending out the, our ticket packages the beginning of August so last year's package had the first 10 
Hall of Famers for the Raiders. They had like a little, uh, like a little plaque with that lit up that had the first 10 Hall of Famers. So from what it said in last year's package, the next two years, so this year and next year, we'll also have that where they're gonna continue. So you have the whole collection. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Look out for that, I'll make a video with that. And then, well I would have already spliced it in, but I'm gonna put in, a couple weeks ago I was on vacation and when we were flying back into Vegas, they had the, uh, uh, we came in from the west and it worked out perfect. It was just, the sun was just going down. So I got a good view flying in with the stadium. So that's the scene I put in at the beginning, the beginning of this video. All right, so that was a full walk around. On my phone air, it's showing it's about 31 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get back out here probably in the next couple of weeks once they finish up with this install with the legacy bricks and I'm gonna try to you know get some video of that so if you did order bricks for this new season you'll be able to find it if you don't make it out here you know it is a little time consuming because I actually got to walk you know each spot and show a little you know try to get them so I don't miss any so they actually have some bricks up by the entrance there so I guess they're filling in on that you know on the edges so if you just bought them for this third year here you know you could get some you could still get some good locations so I'll try to do that you know in the next couple weeks so we get that all taken care of so you can find your brick. Because I still get people thanking me for the videos the last two years that I put. You know, it's more, I know there's a lot of people that bought them and they just couldn't make it out here to see it. Or if you do come like on game day, it's so busy in there. It's kind of hard to look for your brick then. So, we'll see. Alright Raider Nation, that was our walk around. So this morning at 8 a.m., by the time you see this video, it's already going to be announced. But I'm assuming they're announcing Elton John will be performing here at the stadium, a concert. I didn't see it. I saw it when I was walking up, but they had the big E on the sign earlier. <clears throat> and then, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And then, um, you know, we'll just see what happens. Raider Nation, thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you guys next time.